So what's up guys, welcome back to the channel. It's been a while since I've posted a video on YouTube. So I thought I'd just show you what a random night in the retro games room looks like. Everything is turned on. The PS5 with Spider-Man Remastered is ready to go. VHS movie Rambo First Blood placed in the background. One of my favorite 80s retro movies. I've probably seen this movie like a hundred times and still keep watching it time by time. And Crash Team Racing runs on the PS1 that I currently have connected to my main retro setup. I like it when all my setups are turned on. This makes it alive in the, in the game room. Especially these two CRTs just have to be on. It just gives me a nice nostalgic feeling having these two on. Tech of 30 years old, which still works perfectly. Especially when I'm in the game room for a bit longer. I usually turn on a VHS movie on the background. And the PS5 is actually almost always turned on too. The lighting at the console shelf is also on. During game sessions these LED strips are actually my main lighting because the spots in the ceiling go out during gaming. But now with filming not because otherwise it will be too dark. By the way I am often asked for a game room tour video. So let's do a mini tour today where you can see the entire game room. I will be doing a longer game room tour in the future where I, where I will go deeper into the collection. This is my other retro stereo tower from Sony and unfortunately you can see me in shirtless through the reflection of the glass. I'm sorry about that. It's warm outside, summer is here, it is what it is. This is my favorite setup. You often see this one in my videos on Instagram and TikTok and also on my shorts on YouTube. This is where I place most of my retro games. By the way, there will be a video where I will go deeper into this setup. Because I get a lot of questions about this one. The audio system was off so I turned it on here. It looks much better with this system on. The sound quality of this system is amazing. Especially after replacing the stock cables. It really took the system to the next level. The audio system and TV combined with this furniture. It just looks amazing. At least that's how I see it. Again this is really my favorite part of the game room. The posters on the wall and the shelves with everything on it is just a perfect fit. Now we go to the corner where my Mega Drive games and my DVD movies are stacked and the part you never really see in my videos. In the shelves on the back I have my VHS movies and there on the ground my most recent CRT purchase. It's a mess here on the right side and it needs a reorganization. I've got my double games here and some random stuff. I really need to see what can go out of here because I'm thinking about turning this into an arcade corner. But as you can see there is not a lot of space. But I will remove those two shelves on the right. Then it might be possible. So I have boxed items in this shelf. Arcade sticks and consoles and controllers. And then we move on to the next wall with boxed consoles and some random stuff too. In these shelves I have most of my games, but I'm not happy with these shelves. So a replacement is coming probably, maybe a custom one. On the right side you saw another shelf with VHS movies. I love to collect VHS movies, but I'm starting to run out of space for it. Then here we see my desk setup, a bit messy. My PS5 and Switch games are in the shelf here at the desk setup and also some mini consoles and random stuff. So here I have most of my games, but as I said I want to replace these shelves. These are the Besta model from IKEA. They are several small cabinets that are stacked on top of each other. I just want one large unit. And there in the corner we see my other Sony Trinitron which is currently off. I think I'm going to get this CRT out of the game room because it's getting a bit too busy with this one here and I also don't use this one that often. In general I'm very happy with my game room. A game room is never finished, you keep changing things all the time, but I'm especially happy with these three setups. One for retro gaming, one for movies and one for next gen gaming. Like I said I just started Spider-Man Remastered. 
I honestly had no idea that there was a remastered version available, so I just upgraded this one to the remastered version. I played the opening part and I have to say that 60 FPS is just a world of difference with 30 FPS. I look forward to playing and beating this game again. Anyway, this is what a random night in the game room looks like. If I'm not busy making content, then this is how it is. It's really alive in here, and I love it. I can just sit and watch this for hours. It's not only a hobby, but also a passion. As I said, I'm generally happy with the game room, but I'm not happy with the lighting. So I plan to upgrade it. I want LED strips in the top corners that run through the entire room from end to end. The same lighting as with these console shelves, but then around the entire room and maybe even more. I see game rooms on social media with really nice lighting and that inspires me. My game room really needs an upgrade on that part. So guys, that's it for today's video. Thank you for watching. If there are any questions, let me know. If you enjoyed watching, please like the video and subscribe to my channel. More content is coming. I will now continue with Spider-Man Remastered, so thanks for watching and see you the next time.